Hello and welcome to Mastering PowerShell Core 6, a course designed to help you get up to speed and begin taking advantage of this powerful language and improve your ability to manage systems and infrastructure across your data centers and the cloud. My name is Michael Simmons and I've been working in IT operations for about 20 years in roles including system administration and engineering as well as DevOps. I work primarily in the Microsoft stack with a lot of experience with System Center, Windows operating systems, and the Azure cloud. And I've focused on scripting and automating with PowerShell for about 10 years. I fell in love with PowerShell back when I first used it in 2007. Back then it was in version one. I continue to blog about system administration and automation and scripting and PowerShell. I love PowerShell.com and you can find me on Twitter at MT underscore Simmons. The style of this course is code driven. I'll be using a lot of demos to highlight commands, explore objects, and demonstrate concepts like the pipeline. As PowerShell has continued to expand its ability to manage the open source and multi-vendor data centers and cloud, it's not possible in any reasonable amount of time to tell you how every command in PowerShell works or the intricacies of every module. So to help you get the most out of this course and to best prepare you to work with PowerShell, I'm taking a focus on key concepts of PowerShell demonstrating the parts of PowerShell that you're most likely to use the most often and make sure that you know how to find the information about any specific infrastructure pieces that you need to manage. I'm going to begin by ex explaining how we got here, PowerShell Core 6, and what's different about it and how to get the components installed on your system. Then I want to make sure that you understand the basic concepts of working with PowerShell at the command line. After that, we'll explore further into objects, since they're the functional building block of everything we work with in PowerShell. Next, we'll expand into writing down our code into reusable scripts. And finally, I'll give us some deeper details into file operations of all kinds, because as soon as you start performing work with PowerShell, especially work for others, that work is gonna either start or end as a file. It's either gonna be an input that you receive as a file, or you're gonna end up giving it to somebody else as a CSV or a JSON file or something like that. So, we want to be able to work with all of those files flexibly and easily. This course doesn't expect any previous experience with PowerShell. It does make some assumptions about a familiarity with some basic scripting concepts such as variables. And if you're absolutely brand new to scripting, don't abandon hope. See it through and give it a try. PowerShell is an amazing language for people that are new to coding and scripting. And, and if absolutely new to scripting describes you, you'll be happy to know that PowerShell was developed with you in mind. So things like, if I don't cover variables in a lot of detail, you're gonna pick it up anyway. I think you're gonna be just fine. I expect that you've also got some system administration skills and that those are the types of skills you're wanting to use PowerShell to improve on. Now, all of the tools that I recommend and use in this course are free to download and install. We'll be using PowerShell Core 6, which at the time of this recording was in release candidate. So some additional changes can be expected in the coming weeks before release. And for editing, I use Visual Studio Code and to enable PowerShell syntax highlighting and integrated PowerShell terminal in VS Code, I use the PowerShell extension. I also recommend you use version control software for your script repository. And if you're not sure what that is, I'm going to walk you through getting set up with a local Git repository in the section working with scripts. Finally, I just want to impart a little advice. To get the skills with any new language, you're going to have to continue to practice. The great thing about PowerShell is practically everything you do in your system administration job can be done with PowerShell. So after viewing the course, take some extra time to figure out how to approach your next task using PowerShell. Every time you do it, you're going to learn more about it, you're going to improve your skills, and it doesn't take long before doing it with PowerShell even once is as fast or faster than doing it with remote desktop and GUI tools. And if it's a repeatable task, something that you're going to do every morning or once every two weeks, no question, PowerShell is going to improve that process and it's going to improve you and your career in the process too. 